Uh, he's here Look with our proprietary Kitchen HQ brand, and this is our Mighty Prep Chopper and Whippers. You could do whipped creams, you could do mousses. More importantly, from herbs to salsas, you supply your own power, John. <laughs> That's it. No motor needed. No motor and needed. Three blades. Every time you pull that handle, those three blades go around. I put one clove of garlic inside here. Take a look at that. You can do one clove of garlic at a time, or right. if maybe you want to do a whole bunch. Yeah. You can put a whole bunch in here. You put the lid on, pick up this handle on yeah. the top, and look at this. All you do is pull that, <gasps> that handle. That is so cool. And every time you pull the handle, those blades spin around. It's I like having 15 it. knives chopping all at the same time. And in, in a, <gasps> literally in a matter of seconds, look at this. Oh, neat. I'm going to take the top off. We'll pull the blades out. And I want you to see this. Oh, I'm going to put John. it out here in the front. Look at this. Oh, that's you awesome. You get perfectly minced garlic I know. without a lump, a hump, a bump, or a chunk. It's true. I mean, hey, let me, just show you, let me just show you the blades and all the accessories that come with it. And you just choose, of course, the, the blue, which is like a navy. We've got the black, and then, of course, we've got that red. So you get the chopping blade, and as far as cleanup, there's really virtually no cleanup. You just, just rinse, rinse it, it off. Out. They you are just rinse it out. dishwasher safe, though. Is, good point. I yep. mean, they are dishwasher safe, but you're probably not going to need it. Then here is this cool little uh, whipping blade. So if you like flavored whipped creams, like chocolate, you could do chocolate or almond whipped cream or peppermint or mousses. That's included. This little cleaning um, uh, brush, which um, you know, may or may not need, you know, depending on, you know, again, if you rinse it. Oh, and then Rick. We do have the gray too, right? So we've got the red. Oh, we're calling it silver. Sorry. So black, uh, <laughs> blue, silver, or red. John, what are you doing for us now? Well, I put an entire onion in here. Okay. Oh, and wow. again, for chopping onions, the worst part about chopping onions, everybody cries. Yes. <laughs> and then the more you cry, <laughs> you I know. know, right? Well, take a look at this. No tears in your eyes, no smell on your hands, and you get, this is, listen, my wife loves it for the chopped onion alone. Yeah. I think you're going to love it too because wow. it comes out literally perfect, perfect. each and every time. It, That's just with onions. It, and it, it does. By the way, Scott, in case you missed uh, John talking about it, the chopper is dishwasher safe. You may or may not need to do that, but it is dishwasher safe. Yep. Dwayne, good to see you. Uh, Eric and Joey. Uh, I, I think for a lot of us in the kitchen, you know, John, we've talked about this before. Sometimes it's not the skill level in the recipe. It's the prep before it is the prep. and this is the prep tool this is like a little uh, sous chef in your kitchen if you can see in here i put tomatoes i've got bell peppers onions i've got cilantro i've got jalapeno pepper and and uh, again you can put all the ingredients for a perfect homemade salsa in here just pull the handle oh, wow. and the way this works it creates the most and you can do it as chunky sure. if you want to stop there you get a nice chunky salsa yeah. or if you keep pulling that handle you get the fine salsa just like res restaurant style oh, salsa you're right and look at this i mean in a matter of seconds you've got salsa made perfectly beautifully and That's you neat. take those blades out and look at this you can even serve it right in the same bowl isn't so, that <laughs> smart I mean, and you want to talk about delicious fresh oh. homemade salsa it doesn't get any better than that for sure <laughs> uh, by the way selena we are we're talking about a two-hour show the five and five and lots of fun stuff Dwayne, you know i love saying hi to your uh, your niece and joey thank you uh, we so appreciate all of our Monday night, you know, pan addicts and fan addicts and kitchen booze. And, you know, we try to do fun things and give you some tips along the way. You know, the truth of the matter is, John, for a lot of us, we don't, many of us don't have confidence in the kitchen. Right. And knife skills are not my forte. That's so good. even if I were a professionally trained chef, I've picked up a lot, you know, throughout my years here at HSN and more, I couldn't be as precise as this great little no. device. And you put everything inside. All you do is pull the handle. Yeah, I mean, here we're making hash brown potatoes, all in the sure. same bowl, ready to go right into the frying pan. Oh, it's, and again, it's it's. I love it because there's no motor. If wow. you have an RV, if you go camping, I'll tell you, it does more work than you can do by hand with a knife. And I want you to look at these hash browns. Oh, the, oh boy, those those look good Onions before you even cook them. Onions and bell peppers, them. everything included. No, I'm serious. Oh, but you can do yes. omelets. Hey, uh, John, do you know where Rick? Maybe you could look up the capacity. This looks like a two or three cup capacity. I'm wondering what we have. And uh, we're just going to double check on that. Remember, it is dishwasher safe, Scott, but you'll probably just, like most of us, rinse it out underneath the sink. That's entirely up to you. It's three and a half cups. Yep. Yeah, I thought it was either two and a half or three and a half. Now, I want to show you something because when you're doing things like fresh herbs, okay, all you do is place it inside. You, t you twist the lid on. Now, the lid on this one locks into place. You twist it on and then you lift up the handle. All you do is hold the machine, pull the handle. 
Oh, Does it nice. get any easier? Whether it be parsley, cilantro, any 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 fresh herbs, you're gonna absolutely love this. It comes out beautiful. Oh, John, that's I fantastic. Mean, <laughs> look at this. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> because I was trying to chop cilantro the other night and I thought, what in the world? I mean, because I'm like a lot of you. I've got the big choppers and I've got the itty right? bitty choppers, but nothing in between. Right. So this is like the Goldilocks chopper. And you guys, actually, Aaron loves it. Russ loves it. You don't have electric. You know, you can just dump that tub out. Makes it a lot easier to clean. You're absolutely uh, Russ. Anna says the best kitchen tool. Selene says cool tool. And I think for a lot of us out there, John, most of us aren't doing fresh salsa as an example right. because it's a lot of work. Yeah. Most of us, I don't know about you, but I'm guilty. I buy the little jars of the pre-minced garlic because yes. I don't want to mess with it, right? right? I buy the little tubs at the grocery store of the pre-chopped onion even though it wasn't chopped that day or that morning because right. it's easy, right? This makes it easy and we all know fresh is best. I and always say if the only thing you'll ever use it for is onions, yeah. it's right. worth it just for that You're because... Right. Again, nobody likes chopping onions because you cry. Yeah, you're right? right. I mean, and the thing, what, yo, oh, by the way, I was going to mention this. This right here comes in the box separately. Yeah, well, I, was, okay? I was wondering this about is, that. This is what it is. It's a scraper oh. that keeps the food oh, from hitting the top now of the lid. That is genius. So that way you get, yeah, that way you get perfectly minced, perfectly chopped, depending on how you like it. Right. Every turn of that, oh, no, or every cool. time you pull that handle, those blades go around about. I don't know, about 10 times. Right, <laughs> well, more than it's I like would. having 15 <laughs> knives chopping at the same time. That's cool. And it gets the job done so quick, safe, fast, and easy that you literally, I mean, you don't even have time to cry. You, you don't. <laughs> uh, but Joey even said, oh. boy, just chopping nuts. They are sold. Yeah. Uh, no kidding. Selene says it'll cut your prep time in half. Brenda's loving the chopper. You know, there's a 30-day return policy on everything that we offer here at HSN. So if you don't love it, you can send it back. I was actually thinking scrambled eggs. Whipping like, eggs. It's like amazing. Like Denver omelets. You can, do, you can do your cake mixes. Oh, you can yeah. do uh, pancake batters. Right. Any of, any of that inside the unit. And again, this is using the whipping blade, so you do get you get the chopping blade, okay, and that's the one with the three knives on it, and you get the whipping blade with the machine, so you can do your, you know, in fact, here's that mousse we I made know. up for you, fresh. Hey, by okay. the way, Amanda, you know I love you, she's so cute. I have knife skills and I can't prep this fast. I miss your face, man. I feel like I haven't seen you lately. <laughs> and uh, Heidi's asking, how sturdy is that pull cord? It's, I mean, looks, it's, it, it's a nylon cord, okay, and there's, there's a return spring inside, so it pulls it back inside. Every time you pull that cord, nice. it's very sturdy. It, it and, is. Yeah, and to clean it out is so simple. You just rinse this underneath the t under the hot or cold tap and just let them drip dry. Uh, absolutely. By the way, on this mousse, do you know, did Kat use just cream and chocolate? What'd she use? It, all that, that's uh, whipping cream and okay. a little bit of chocolate. Mm. Yes. Okay. <laughs> mm. How about this? For oh, cake good. toppings, for pie that's toppings, really maybe you want to do a, you know, a little, if you've got uh, peanuts, almonds, cashews, all you do is pull that handle and again, the more you pull the handle, the finer the chop gets. So you can make it as coarse or as fine as you like. Here's some chopped nuts done perfectly. Again, almonds, walnuts, cashews, nice. uh, yeah, peanuts. Like you Joey can do said, peanuts and M&Ms for an ice cream topping. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> but Joey said too, uh, just chopping nuts pays for itself. Russ said that whipping blade just sold you. I'll tell you Ru what, Russ. That moose. Yeah. That's <laughs> the bomb diddly. <laughs> I know. Mm, 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 mm. John, you're going to try to sneak in one more thing? What do you I'm got? I'm going to try. I'm going to try and do one more thing here. Okay. In fact, let me throw a carrot in here. Okay. I'm just going to make a little quick coleslaw. Okay? Nice. This, and again, all you do is pull that handle. Every time you pull that handle, 15 knives working at the same time. It <laughs> if, is. If it goes around five times, times three, there's 15 yeah. knives. And look at this. There's your coleslaw. Colorful coleslaw done in seconds. Okay. Do you know what? I just have to show everybody this. So from soup to nuts and <laughs> onion and herbs and tomatoes and hash browns and yep. onions with no tears and, and garlic fresh salsa. and fresh salsa. And you didn't even break a sweat. I know. And you can even chop eggs in it, like hard yeah. boiled eggs if you Deviled like. Deviled eggs. I mean, yeah. you name it. And I'll do all kinds of John, stuff. thank you. Thank Good you. Good to see you, my friend. All right.